Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna take you through the creation of this uh, this kind of bubbles. Um, basically, this is like a, a Voronoi cell, and I'm I'm using Spreadshock add-on to create this. It is probably if you can already tell, this is actually not that complicated. Um, I'm using a bit of Blender modifier, and this is all the nodes that you need to recreate this setup. So let me do the breakdown. So let me stop this. So the animation itself is coming from this uh, frame info node that's kind of moving um, the original grid cell. If I get rid of the randomizations and maybe removing the noise as well we're gonna be getting just uh, just like a normal grid or maybe I get rid of uh, I just turn off all of this and let me get rid of fewer V mesh for now try to turn this into grid so I, actu I actually start with a some kind of box and with the box I scale it down so originally this is just a normal box so I'm, I'm scaling it down like that and and then I have a plane that's kind of subdividing it um, using this uh, script node Voronoi if you don't know already the script node Voronoi is, is coming from here scripted node light and you just select the Voronoi 3D oh there is actually this Voronoi with radius that's actually new this one is new interesting so and we have the usual options string and bounding box etc So this is the original um, source and this is the points that's coming that's gonna generate the Voronoi subdivision or, or the Voronoi cell. You can do this also with a blender cell fracture um, version but I like to do it using Spreadshop. So with this plane, this is actually just a bunch of grid oops that's too much let me make it smaller you can adjust the number and the stepping between points and we can also randomize it so originally I just randomize it like this to make it simpler I think I'm gonna get rid of this subdivision so that's uh, how it was there you go that's much cleaner so the idea is really just uh, moving the points ever so slightly so it's kind of like a moving cell because this point is really what's generating uh, it's what's uh, influencing the Voronoi cell fracture if I turn off the polygon face and display the points okay like so and we can see how the points is influencing the Voronoi Ideally, we want to have, oops, we want to cover the points like that. So that's like a real Voronoi cell visualized as 3D, of course. Uh, there is also Voronoi 2D, but uh, with the Voronoi 2D, we 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 need to, I think, work with the clipping. So I'll show you really quick.
see with a Vorono it's really we we need to work with the clipping and sometimes we don't get exactly so it does make something but uh I think the Vorono 3D is newer and much cleaner so this guy probably can be updated at some point all right so let's get back to this guy and adjust this adjust the point so it fits into the grid so we have a nice cell right there and then we want to kind of move the points using vector noise file set s this is what I have I normally I do this all the time and you're probably familiar with this setup one one two three four I can join it I'm just getting rid of the the motion in Z so this is the noise this is the it's gonna kind of animate the noise and this is the output so this is what we get oops actually it's not moving uh, so that's the noise oh the, because I'm turning off the multipliers so now the noise is kind of moving so the cell all these points kind of moving but not too much supposedly just a little maybe I can scale the noise somewhere here so vector math just multiply this by scalar 0.5 So we have that kind of nice motion. Sometimes I, I saw like a different example where they instead of using noise, they're using just a the sine or cosine wave functions. And that's give a maybe more natural look. Depends on what you want to do. But I'm I'm okay with this. Maybe I need to just increase this and multiply over here. Make it smaller. So we have just a small motion of the cell. Almost like a almost like a bubble. Okay, so that's the idea. I'm gonna turn off the visualization of the point and turning on the polygon so we have this and oh I think I delete the previous setup but I, I can just output this as B mesh turn this off now we have this we can just smooth it apply subdivision And with this guy, we just add a frame and it should be moving now, almost like a cell. Maybe we don't need smoothing there, we add um, bevel up here there you go we get that kind of look we can also smooth it and also displace so displace will give you a push out this smoothing we can increase it a couple of times and bevel maybe we don't need There we go, make it slower. There you go, kind of like a moving bubble. And if you don't like that hard edge, we just turn it off. 
we just smooth shade it here and maybe calculate normal and we get our bubble and everything is still procedural so we can adjust it here whatever we like so that's kind of nice see I like that kind of motion and maybe we can increase the subdivision here so we get a little bit more detail and the calculation is still pretty fast you can actually move it slightly in the in the z axis as well if you just plug this in so now we have kind of cell that's kind of overlapping sometimes and as usual if you want different motion cell noise is a weird one or noise or perlin blender it's not too bad but I let's get rid of the Z for now easier to look at file save as all right so that's pretty much it this is a I call it for noise cell dance um, using spreadshock add-on in blender um, hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye